make it dramatic. What type of DNA? What do you mean, what type of DNA? What type of DNA you guys have or need? I don't know. What do you mean, what you type? Said Everybody has unique, unique DNA. Okay. So, in order to know that's my DNA, you have to have something of my DNA. Yeah, we'll get it from you. Yeah, how, how, are, you gonna, how are you going to do that? Voluntary or a force? Oh, we got a search warrant. So that's not, you're not understanding. Right. DNA. What type of DNA you guys need? Oh, a buccal swab. A buccal swab from my mouth? Yeah. And how are you going to get that? Judge will order it with a, with a search warrant. Yeah. Out my mouth? Yeah. A search warrant to get DNA out of my mouth. How do that sound? What do you mean? How does that sound? We do it every day. Yeah, okay. Well, hey, listen. Man, it was nice. It was a pleasure meeting you, man. You got your guys. But you're not, you don't get me. I'm not one of them. This is Kenneth Thomas, and he is an absolute goldmine of comedy in the interrogation room. Upon being arrested for a robbery turned wrong in which the convenience store clerk, Saeed Sharwani, was killed for a few hundred bucks and some lottery tickets, Thomas claims that he knows all the detective's tricks because, get this, he watches a lot of CSI and First 48. This CSI University graduate has been sitting in the interrogation room denying any involvement in the robbery slash murder for a full hour. That is, until the detective starts to pull out actual evidence. Piece by piece, we see Thomas break down, and it's a wild ride. Let's watch. You were in on that robbery in Waukesha. Right. Okay. Right. So that's what oh, the evidence right. shows. Oh, well, run it, bring it back. Run it back. What'd you say? You said the evidence that what? The evidence and the information that we learned from everybody we talked to yeah. shows that you were in on that robbery in Waukesha. Yeah, how was I in on it? How was you in on it? Yeah, you got you got my prints. You got my prints, my face on camera? Yes, we do. Yeah. Yeah. I like to see all that. Huh? Why well, you don't have it with me right now, right. obviously. Okay. Right. Why you don't have it with you, though? Let's check this out. Okay. If you if if that was me, mm-hmm. why why would you have all the evidence pointing out in front of you? You want to see all the surveillance video right now? No, obviously, no, we don't no. have one in the room. Uh, no, 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 no. A surveil- a surveillance with my face direct on it. Yes, we do. We have that. No, yeah. Yeah. So why you didn't show me pictures? Why you didn't show me pictures? Like, this is you on this. Pictures? Yeah. This is the gun at your house. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. This is the gun in the diaper box. The shoes that you were wearing. This is the mask that you were wearing. Okay. There's several hundred photographs. I didn't get them all. I thought you'd be bored with lots of photographs. Okay. Where'd your pajamas go? Pajamas you were wearing that night. I had a picture of that, too. Yeah. Well, it's on inventory. There you are, jump on the counter, wearing the pajamas, the shoes with the gun, and the mask. Okay? Okay, where, uh, where is it still? You're not telling me. Oh, those oh, tell yeah. Listen, Kenneth, listen to me. Yeah, I'm listening. The, the problem is, is that you don't know where all the cameras are. Yeah. And you're wearing these same clothes on different cameras. The problem is, you didn't have your mask on at that time. Right, right. So. Right, so where are those photos? Where are these photos? No. No, I'm just saying. Right hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm saying, where are the photos you said that I'm on camera wearing these clothes? That's on a video. On the video? Like video DVD. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And, and Darren's in the background. So where's the other guy on the camera? You said it was two people. It was. He's in the background. That's Darren. Darren? Yeah. The big tall ball guy. Yeah, that, that's his name, Darren? Mm-hmm. Oh. We know all about him, too. Yeah. Okay. This is the thing. Okay, Kenneth. Yeah. We've been talking for a while, haven't we? Yeah, wow. Okay. And you've been telling me all kinds of information. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. Not leading back to me. Well, let me explain something, okay? All right. I've never met you before, have I? Mm -hmm. I don't know nothing about Kenneth, do I? Nothing. Okay. So, part of my job is to learn about you, isn't it? Of course. 
Of course. Okay. I need to know what type of person you are. Okay? Mm-hmm. All the questions I asked, I already knew the answer to. Yeah, good figure. Okay. And the reason I know the answer to is I'm trying to measure the type of person you are. So y'all got Darren? So you're a very nice, young, polite man, and I appreciate that. Okay? The problem is you're trying to get your way out of a situation that I want, that, that you think I want. No, I know. That's, that's the thing. I know. know that. So I got I to gotta understand something here, Kevin. Yeah. Okay? I got to understand something. All right? Are you going to end up looking like a guy trying to get out of something? Or, just like that stolen car thing, all right, I messed up, I drove a car, I made a mistake, I'll take responsibility for that, but I ain't going to take responsibility for the other serious stuff that happened, the burglary and other thing those guys did. Okay? You were responsible for that part, so you didn't have to deal with that part, correct? Same situation here. Okay? Yeah. We need... Listen, we need I've been listening. I've been listening to you the whole okay. time. You Fair listen enough. Now. Fair enough. Listen. If you got Darren, how you gonna got his brother? Hmm? I said, if you got... You got Darryl? Yeah. Clarence? The dude, you just... You just yeah. The boy. Betty just tattooed on yeah. his forehead. Not yeah. better, Betty. Yeah, we got him too. Yeah. So then, how you not know, then, why, why is everything not matching up then? If you got the guys... No, 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 no. The guys... guys no, no. You and... You and... Who? Darren are the guys. How you know that? How do I know that? Yeah, where my fingerprints at? On anything of, you know, the, you know, this part, they could, they put that in my house. They, they stored that stuff in my house. Okay. How you, how you don't know that? How come your fingerprints in the air are going to end up on that when we're done processing oh, that? End up on what? On the gun, on the mask, on the clothes. Yeah, okay, and I want to see that. What it do? Okay. Now, listen, when, it, when my DA shows up on the mask. Right. The clothes. Yeah. In the gun, Kenneth, when that, when you're, you're on surveillance video wearing those clothes just before, just after that robbery. Oh, no. Yeah, you are. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, tell, I promise you I ain't. Okay. I'm for sure. Listen, I'm a 100% sure that's not me on that camera. Okay. And, and how are you 100% sure that it's not you on that camera? Because I never left out the house that night. Okay. Everybody else in that house said you did. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. So where are they statements? He's got some. I've got some. Let's other see. people got some. Let's see. You see how these things say. This is the thing. It ain't about Listen, this. you got you got That's That's Kenneth. That's, 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 that's the Thomas really thinks he holds the power in this situation. His mistaken understanding of police procedures, mostly gained from watching television, give him the belief that he has the upper hand as long as the police cannot produce fingerprint evidence, as if all the other pieces of evidence, from the gun used at the crime scene to witness testimony, it's pointless in pushing a jury to convict Thomas with respect to the principle of reasonable doubt. In fact, fingerprint evidence is shaky at best. Not only can fingerprints be faked, unlike DNA, but fingerprint matching is not a robust practice. Rather, fingerprints are observed for certain features, such as islands, deltas, and bifurcations. Once those features are noted, the police database is searched for people having fingerprints with those features. In other words, fingerprint matching is not a full matching process, but much more fuzzy, leading to a large potential for erratic conclusions. Moreover, fingerprints taken at a crime scene are rarely of ideal quality. The same finger can produce two different fingerprints based on pressure applied and varying amounts of oil in the skin. These circumstances can produce aberrations in the fingerprint, creating features that are not actually present in the finger itself. Ultimately, overconfidence in fingerprint matching has led to false imprisonment, as in the case of Oregon lawyer Brandon Mayfield, who spent three weeks imprisoned by the FBI as a suspect of the Madrid bombing. It would have been very easy to verify that Mayfield was not in Madrid, Spain at the time of the bombing, and was indeed in Oregon, USA, lawyering. However, fingerprints recovered in Madrid matched Mayfield's fingerprints, and Mayfield was forced to waste away in a cage for nearly a month. As absurd as it sounds, it happens, and it's because people have too much faith in forensic science, which, for many techniques, is about as scientific as is political science. Thomas is thus not unique here in his belief that fingerprint data is virtually infallible, 
No, Thomas's unique stupidity is his belief that his concealment of his fingerprints via gloves and concealment of his face via a mask is enough to put him in the clear. Understand something, okay? This is about not what happened, because we already know what happened. What happened? We already know who's involved, okay? The important thing is we need to know why this happened. Yeah. Okay? He needs to know why. And you come to Kenneth to get the... To get yeah, the we need to know why Kenneth went out and robbed his dorm walker shop. How do you know that was Kenneth, though? Because we have all the evidence to show that it is. No, you don't, actually. We do? No, you just have the things that happen in. You don't have the person that did it. Anyone could be behind that. But listen, listen to me, though. I've been listening to you. Mm -hmm. I've been giving you information. Mm -hmm. Listen, anybody could be behind that mask. Mm -hmm. But you want it to be Kenneth. Why? I don't want it to be... No, I know why it is. Okay. I know why it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know why it is. Why is that? you found the things in my house. Well, why can't I say it was Levante or Devante? Or why can't I say it, it wasn't Clarence? I don't know. You want to talk okay. to Kenneth. But why would that be, Kenneth? Because the things, half of the merch was in my room. In that suitcase, hidden. It actually wasn't hidden. You should just show you. It was all okay. out. Okay. It was hidden in the suitcase. That's where they found it. Okay. 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 In your bedroom. Am I there? Okay. The big thing here is the most important is what happened during the robbery. What okay. happened during the robbery? Well, you know. You were there. If I, if I know, I would have told you. Okay. Don't you think? I don't have a problem. Listen, I don't have a problem. Listen, let me tell you this, first mm -hmm. of all. Mm -hmm. My life mm -hmm. is fucked, being fucked up. Okay. Since I was born. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, just, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You keep interrupting me. I don't like that. You want to get information, you want to get the truth, let me, let me talk. Okay. I'm just, hear what I'm saying. You're just, you're just doing this. Okay. I can't talk like that. Okay. Listen, mm -hmm. I like being fucked up from the start, man. I've been trying to make a way and do this and do this, be a good boy. Listen, I ain't never had shit. I ain't never going to be shit. Listen, y'all the good guys. Y'all the ones that come to this job and play good cop, bad cop. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, me, you know what I play every day? Mm -hmm. Survivor. Mm -hmm. Any day coming out my door, I could be a dead man. I could, they they could have came in and killed us. With a gun sound. I don't know who gun it was. Mm -hmm. But listen, it was a gun sound. The items were found in my room. Mm -hmm. The heroin and the other guy you're talking about? Mm -hmm. They could have been their items. Okay. They, they could have stashed that in there before they left. Okay. But they want they y'all got them in custody? Yeah. Y'all got them in custody? I wonder how y'all get them in custody. How did we? Yeah, how did you get them in custody? We found them. They went in my house, though. So where did you get them in custody? Where they were at. Where was it? Across the hall. Uh, across the hall. So y'all went in there first in DMI? No, we got them in custody after the search warrant, after you already in custody. Oh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you got your guys? We got a lot of guys. Yeah, you got you got your two main guys who did it, though. Well, we got a lot of guys because there's been more than just the Robbie and Walker show. Damn. So what else been going on? The robberies in Milwaukee, yeah. robberies in West Dallas, robberies in Brookfield. So you got all the guys, huh? No, not quite all of them. Still looking for the white guys involved too. Yeah, and you expecting me? And you you expecting I'm one of them? Are you? Ah, uh, you're obviously not one of the white guys that I'm looking for. I'm not talking about the white guys. Okay, okay. I'm saying me. Right. You think you think I'm one of them? You don't know for sure yet until you get those those the DNA back on those. No, that'll just confirm what we already know. Yeah. Oh, that'll confirm. So if it don't confirm, it then what? We already have enough evidence. It's not enough evidence. Okay. Those evidence was put there by There's the There's also guy. evidence from other robberies that was found in your apartment. Yeah, like what? Lottery tickets. Lottery tickets? Mm -hmm. How do you know that one? Like, back to what I was saying. How do you know those guys didn't put that there and find their way out, shoot back to Chicago where they belong, where they come from? Did they hide the lottery tickets? I'm, in, I'm saying, I don't know where they... In bedroom? Huh? 
You said, did they? Yeah. I don't know what they did. Okay. I was so I was too high to even know what they did. Mm -hmm. I fell asleep that night, like I told you. These robberies have been happening for a long time. Yeah. They've been there for a while. Mm -hmm. How long is a while? You've been there for a while, probably a month or two. Okay. Okay. And every time they come to their apartment, they hide stuff? No, nah, they probably did that that night. They hid everything from all those robberies that night? Yeah. Including all the articles of clothing that was worn? Yeah, actually, no. you only showed me one. one you only yeah, I said there's hundreds of pictures. I only brought a few. Oh, uh, you only brought, brought a few? Right. Yeah, probably. Okay. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Those are not my items, so. Okay. You could you could try listen. You could try your hardest to put those on me, but deep down inside, I, that's listen. When you go on court, you know what I'm gonna say. You know when we go on court, what I'm gonna say. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say that's those guys' items. I understand that, and I'm not saying that you were involved in every robbery. I wasn't okay, involved yeah. in no robbery. Okay, but oh, look at my background. Oh, yeah. Hold on, look at my background. Do mm -hmm. do. Look what I'm the position I'm in. Do you think I'll be involved in some robberies? I don't know. Come on, people. all kinds of people do different things when they get desperate. Be real when they need to survive. Be real, right? I'm you, 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 I get a check. I get a check. I don't need to do anything. Okay. I get a check. How do you get a check? I, I, I survive. Okay. How much you get a month? S seven eight hundred. Okay. I'm good. Okay. That pays my bills. Put food in my house. Okay. You know, do a little extra. Mm-hmm. My rent is only five something. Okay. Me and my brother split that. Okay. He gets a check too. We could. Mm hmm So do you do do you do your research, you know what I mean? Mm hmm Got your guys. Now listen. Wish I could tell you more, but you got your guys, man. Wish I could tell you more, but you like I said, you got your guys. Mm hmm You got your Daryl and the other guy, you got him. Mm -hmm. You got him. You most definitely do. Okay. But me, I don't, I don't care where it, how, what you say, Ken, if that's you, the items were in your room, mm -hmm. they put that there. And that's that's what I'm going to stick to. Okay, how did they put that there? They put it there. I don't know, maybe that, that, that night, you know? Uh-huh. Maybe. They were putting tiny stuff on us from the start. Uh-huh. Trying to get us off, you know? Okay. Out the way. Why would they bother to go around places? I'm just trying to understand. I need you to help me understand. They put them, put them off with, uh, on us? Yeah, why wouldn't they just get rid of them somewhere? They they don't like us. They never did. I told you how they came to my door. Right. We had a, we had a problem. Okay. So what what doesn't make sense to me is you guys, they they going out doing stand-ups, right? They, they, they burn up Chicago. They burn up Chicago. Okay, so they come. Why, why would they put it on somebody else? Right across the hall from where they're staying. At. It's easy. Why wouldn't it? That's like why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't you throw stuff stuff out the car window when you're coming back? Why uh, wouldn't you throw stuff in a garbage can somewhere? That'd be dumb. Why would that be dumb? No one would that'd ever. That'd be dumb that. when you want to get some certain guys out the way, you know. Why wouldn't well, you? But why would they want to get you out of the way? You guys, they brought over the weed. You guys are smoking up. Why would they? Listen, your old friend will laugh in your face and get you killed the next day. I know this from experience. Mm-hmm. You know, I just saw my guys get shot, gunned down in broad daylight. Mm -hmm. I just saw one of the cops kill my kill my people in front of me. You know, I just saw a lot. Mm -hmm. I done been through a lot. Okay. Why wouldn't they? That's easy. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Found a damn gun and a baby and a and a baby bag. Mm -hmm. That's what you said. A baby bag, baby box. Diaper box. Diaper box. You found the gun in the diaper mm -hmm. box. Mm -hmm. Put it together, man. Okay. Well, let me, let, me, let me ask you, is there a chance that your fingerprints would be on that gun? Mm-mm. Not at all. Not at all? Not at all. Okay, what about your DNA? Not at all. Okay. What about all the bullets? Not at all. Okay. Well, you said you gave them bullets. Yeah, I gave them bullets, but those bullets that's on the count that you see? Yeah. Those are the bullets that I kept. The bullets I gave him, he cleaned off before he put them in. He cleaned up. How did he clean them up? With his, with his sleeve. Okay. Easy. Okay. That's why I actually told him to clean, clean the books, you know, before before you put them in the gun. Okay. My fingerprints on. Okay. That's what he did. Clean them and put them in the gun. Okay. All right. So, yeah, you know, did you ever look into that giving, giving me, a, you know, breaking the rules, giving me a cigarette? The cigarette? Yeah. We don't have the facilities for you to smoke here. Sorry. All right, all right. Can't help you out with that. 
Okay. So what else do you need for me to get you now? Well, I need to know the answer about what, why, what happened at the robbery in Waukesha. Listen. When the gun went off, was it accidental or was it on purpose? Uh, I wasn't there. I wasn't there. My, listen, like I just told you, you saw me. Mm -hmm. Listen, mm -hmm. you bring my fingerprint, my fingerprints mm -hmm. back, saying that it was me. I give you a whole. Can it, listen, all, listen. The, all the other evidence. I don't need fingerprints. I don't need those DNA. Are my agents. Okay, all the other evidence, all the other statements, all the other witnesses told us what we need to know. Okay. What I need to know is the why, okay? And part of the why is, did the gun go off on accident or on purpose? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I can tell you. You know, that's the whole evidence was put there by them other guys. Okay. They can't, they, they put, they, come on, look, listen, check this out. Put the mask. Don't this sound, this is going to make you, make you start thinking a little bit more. Mm hmm You said the mass mm -hmm. was found in my room, right? What else? The mask? Yeah. The uh what else was all in the briefcase? Walkie well, has that list. Several items that were involved in the robbery were found in that uh that briefcase, that uh blue luggage, the thing that you pull. Mm hmm mm -hmm. So why won't all the items found there? It would make a little bit more sense. The only items that weren't found in the bedroom was the gun. No, you said something else. You said, see, listen, you just said other things that was in the house. Yeah. You said there was other things in the house. Yeah, from other robberies. Yeah, so why weren't all them in one place? Because all the robberies happened on other days. It's still not making sense. That's what I'm telling you. Sure. No, the Waukesha robbery happened that night. And, and all the items were found in your room, with the exception of the gun that was found in the living room. I'm sorry, not in the living room. The living room. In the uh, diaper box. Diaper box. So listen, back to all the mm -hmm. You get my, you get my DNA. Off of those items. Mm hmm Is, is let me ask you, is your DNA going to be on any of those items? Why were they? Well, I don't know. I wasn't there that night. Okay. I wasn't there that night. Okay. Did you ever put on that green mask? No. Okay, what about those pajama bottoms? Never. Never? Never. Okay, how about that Celtics hat? I said no, never. No, you never wore a Celtics hat? Mm -hmm. Never wore those pajama bottoms? No hats. Okay, not, any, not even on your Facebook videos? Nope. Not at all. Spark Spark? Not at all. I just viewed the video today, yeah. watching you wear all that stuff. Yes, you have a video. <laughs> Man, you're making me laugh. And you're gonna make me my heart stop, man. Listen, you got sparks, spark. You got a video with me wearing all that stuff. Yeah. Why are you talking to me still? Because I want to find out why it happened. Like I said, I know what happened. I want to find out why. It's you, important. This is why. an investigation. Mm -hmm. He's trying to find out what happened. I know what happened already. Who did what? I do that. I know. You want to be investigated still? What do you mean? You still need to investigate. You still, you still want me to tell you who was behind that mask. I need to know whether you shot that man on purpose or if the gun went off on accident. That that's important be. because that's the difference between manslaughter or homicide. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Manslaughter or homicide. Yeah. So now it's just a homicide. Yes, it is. Damn. So listen, when, listen, you make them guys squeal. And you do what you gotta do to them guys, cause those are the guys, man. I don't know what, why you talk, why you, you said you listen, you just said told me you had a, a video of me with everything gone. Yes. Really? Yeah, it's on your Facebook. That's sad, man. I didn't make it. That's sad, cause it's not there, B. You're it lying, you're sitting here lying to me, just like the other officer lied to me. I'm not lying, why would I lie about that? I don't know. Why would the why would, why would, why would, why would, so not he, And you tried to switch it up in the, the car. Why Why would you lie? See, I can play the same role you playing. Man. What did the other officer lie to you about? Saying I'm going down to the county. I, I don't explain that to you. You're not at the county. You're at the city. Listen, no, 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 no. He said his exact words were, sign these papers. Mm -hmm. You're going down to the county. 
put the little hundred dollars from a bill and yeah, that's what Pierre about. Yeah, all this. Yeah, that listen, that wasn't. So some jailer doesn't know the difference between the city. That was something to get me here. You're here because we needed you here. Because we need to talk to you about what happened. You, you got your guys. You got both of them, right? You said Betty. What did he say over his eye? Betty. Betty what? That's what it says. It, Betty. It says something else. That's his mama's name, Betty. Oh, uh, Betty. Yeah. Well, yeah. What I say, better. You thought it was better. Yeah. Yeah. Betty, you know, see, I don't, I don't pay attention to them guys like that, mm-hmm. you know. But I know they're serious guys. Mm-hmm. And it would be a fucked up thing to do to say it was Kenneth. They did that. But I know it was Kenneth. How you know it was Kenneth? Because all the evidence shows me. You even lied to me and said you have my face on camera. I do. You got a mask. No, not that camera. I got you on a different camera. Oh, uh, yeah? Without the mask on. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. So, uh, so why are you having not shown me these? Why? Because it's on a video disc. I don't have you a video disc. You can get a disc, though. I haven't done that yet. Shot, 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 shot. Listen, I'm not new to this. I know you're not new. That's why I ain't messing with you. You are, though. How am I messing with you? I'm being straight up and telling you. He's trying to get you to tell the truth about something I didn't do. But you didn't do it. That's the problem. I didn't do it. I'm just trying to understand what happened. Was this an accident? Listen, you got to. Or was this something that. This is a mission you had. Now that you told me, we're talking about murder. Exactly. My life is gone. Depends on what level of it. Listen, did the guy go off on accident? My life is gone. You're trying to get me for some shit I didn't do. I'm done already. You, you, y'all found the evidence in there. Do you know the different levels that are involved in that? Tell me. Okay. First degree intentional homicide. You know what that means? What? Life imprisonment. Okay? Notably, this is the first time Thomas doesn't have a snappy comeback. The detective stays silent, waiting for a response, but notices that Thomas is still saying nothing. This makes it a perfect time to offer Thomas the opportunity to confess to a lesser crime for the sake of reducing his prison time. We've found Thomas's weakness. It is consequences for his actions. That's if someone intentionally kills somebody. You understand that, right? Okay. If someone accidentally shoots somebody, that's manslaughter. All right? 20-year felony. It's a big difference, isn't it? Uh, no, 20 years. 20 years is a long time, isn't it? Yeah. It is. It's life. Depends on what you make life of that life. Life is done, man, after that. Okay. Yeah. That's, and, and understand something. 20 years is maximum penalty. Okay? Because they said C2 combination? Sure. What's that? Combination means some prison time, some parole time. Some probation time. Okay? Just like you had to serve, what, 45 days and then three years probation for being in a car that wasn't yours? Listen, I'm not going to okay. go in there do 10 years. I'm not going to do no five years. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to do none of that shit. You know why? Mm-hmm. That ain't my shit. They put that in my house. Okay. The problem is all the other evidence puts you there. They don't. Shooting that man. You ain't got, you ain't we got need my, to understand. Listen, you ain't got my fingerprints, man. You ain't got my. You don't got my face. Okay. You don't got my face. Cause if you did, you want nothing to be to talk about, right? There is something very important to talk about, Kenneth. What the story? How it happened? You want? Are you? That's what you want a story. I want to find out whether what you did was intentional or an accident. How does that mean? I know it's you. The evidence knows it's you. How does it mean? The witnesses know it's you. What we do. Okay, so now we have to determine in that gas station when the gun went off, was that something you wanted to do or that was something accidental? I don't know what you're talking about. Man. That's what we need to determine. I really don't know what you're talking about. If that was me, how did, listen, how did I get out there? How did I get back? I need to see all this. I need to see, listen, I need to see everything. You gotta well, you'll, you'll eventually see it. Listen, I, you got to have everything to add up to me. We do. So, you would know then if you did. What do you mean I would know? I already know. I told you I already know what happened. The only thing I need to know is, when you pulled the trigger, was it on accident? Or was it on purpose? No, I didn't shoot any trigger. That's the only question we have here. 
Oh, I just told you, of course, I, I didn't shoot anybody. I wasn't there at the scene. Those guys that you got, they put them items there. Shit, now what hell would I know? You guys may put the items there. Let why Why would walk and shoot the items in your house? I don't, shit, why would you shoot a flashbang through the window if you know there's a baby in the house? What if they don't know the baby's there? What's the difference? Now, you, you this is the that. point, okay? We have evidence. We have witnesses. We don't have a witness. We don't. You don't. No? No. You don't. And you don't have enough evidence. You just have the evidence that was done. Then what fucks it up is you got the other guys. What do you mean I have the other guys? The guys that did it. Yeah. You and Darren did it. Uh-uh. Betty and Darren did it. Holy but. I ought to do something with somebody I better even know. But you've been kicking with him. You even let him stay in your apartment. You guys it was an agreement. Exactly. You just spent a night there. You I just spent a, I over a week there. Listen, I know I said he'd been coming there over a week. He comes over. I let him stay sometimes. Mm -hmm. Which meaning not let him spend the night. I let him stay like, okay, I, 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 could, I could go somewhere. Mm -hmm. He could be still there. Okay. Get it? Fine. So it doesn't mean you guys can't go out and jack a place? Yeah, it does. My mama told me better than that. Okay. I mean, it's up to you. If you don't want to give an explanation, like I explained to you before, we'll go by what, what we got. You, do you got that wrote down? What? That it was, I'm telling you it was the other guys who did it. Yeah, but I know that Betty... Didn't do it. How do you know it wasn't big? Because he's too big. He's too big? Yeah. Ah, oh, he's too big. And he doesn't have red hair like you. Ben, Betty, Betty is the same size as me. He's bigger than you. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. I don't pay attention to things like that. We do. Because well, it's okay. important that we Except do. Except this time. You got everything. Do what you got to do. Well, we will. When we're done here, you're going to spend the night here in our jail. And then you're going to get locked up at the Waukesha County Jail. And then you'll go over our charges of armed robbery and first-degree intentional homicide. Unless there's an explanation about the gun going off, and that could potentially change the charge to a lesser degree. Man, listen, that wasn't my, that wasn't my shit. Them guys, I'm, I keep telling you this. Them guys put that there. Mm -hmm. You're not listening. Okay, let me ask you this. How many times did you give those guys bullets? Mm. Once. And that was a, that night? Yeah. Okay. Big problem. When you go robbing places and you start shooting guns off at the liquor store, yeah. at the gas station, yeah. All those bullets match. Like CSI. They make out of from some of those work. They all match the bullets you gave them. All my fingerprints on them? But the problem is, if you only gave them the night before, then you must have had that gun at those other robberies shooting off. You say that because they got more ammo, right? It's not hard to go get ammo from any other place, you know? A store or It's the exact same ammo with the exact same markings. They're just like fingerprints. Listen, if that's the if you got all Mr. Smart, you smart. If you got all this, if you got all this, why are we still talking? Because other people are involved. And well, you don't have to go down for what happened. Them white boys. Oh white boys. Who were involved in some of the robberies. Oh white boy. The robbery at the Brookfield seven eleven. Brookfield, 7-Eleven. Mm-hmm. So, so that leads back to me, too? Well, yeah, you know where that's at. I don't. It's just down the street from the hotel that you and uh, Shikendra were uh, arrested for when Shikendra got uh, arrested for uh, escort violation in Waukesha. I thought you said Brookfield. Brookfield is right next door. It's right across the road. 
You said it's Rockstar Brookfield. Which one is it going to be? The 7-Eleven is right across the road. From what? Brookfield or Waukesha? The hotel that you and Shekinder got arrested for in 2013. Where was it? Brookfield or Waukesha? You just, you said... The hotel that's in Waukesha and across the street is Brookfield. Oh, across the street is Brookfield. Yeah. That's how the cities are. They're that close together. And when was this? When you got arrested, or Shakir got the escort violation? I think that was back in 2013. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. You remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Okay. 7-Eleven, that was robbery just on the block. Yeah. In Brooklyn. I didn't have nothing to do with that. It matches up to the gun in your bullets. It's all type of guns out here. Like, they all match up. It's like fingerprints. Yeah, like they match up like fingerprints. Right. So, it means the only gun it could come from and the only bullets it could come from are your bullets and your gun. No, that's, that's... That's how it works, just uh, like CSI. Listen, listen, listen. There's other guns out here just, just like that. They can match them up just like a fingerprint. Every gun makes a unique mark. Yeah. That's how it works. That's, that's, Dar- that's Dario shit, man, and his people, man. That's Dario shit? Yeah, who, the, the guy you said, what that's his name is, Dario? No, it all matches up. Is that Dario, the guy you just told me? Darren? Darren, Darren, yeah, that's yeah. the one. Bay. Yeah, they Darren. call him Bay. Yeah, Bay. Yeah, you, yeah you know him as Bay. No, I don't. Actually, he never told us his name. Mm-hmm. He say folk, they from Chicago. Mm-hmm. So they use their slang, you know. They never mm-hmm. came down here. Yeah. Listen, listen, that's all they shit, man. That's the guy. You got your guys. You want me to be one of your guys for some shit that ain't, that I ain't did. Come on now, man. The, the photo you showed me, too, was... He was stocky, man. He was big. The photo you just showed me? The coat? Yeah, yeah, because it's a big coat. Oh, it's a big coat. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That was a big guy, man. Oh. Yeah, I'll show you the difference. No, where's that photo? There's you. And there's Bay in the background. Mm-hmm. Bay's a lot taller than you. He's he big. Well, he's not big. He's a skinny little guy. He's big. He's a skinny little guy. Wearing that Celtics hat you have. Yeah. And those pajama pants you have. And your green mask. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't just, that ain't nothing my shit. They took that there back to where hey, I was. Hey, Mark. Yeah, yours. Yours. Yeah, it's a real video. Without your mask, wearing the same clothes. All right. So, do what you have to do. Back to what I was saying. If that's me... If that's me, you know for sure that's me. I do. Yes. Do what you have to do. What do you think I have to do? Whatever is your job. Okay. My job is to get the truth. Well, obviously you... And find out the reasons why it's happening. Obviously you think it's not the truth, so what's that telling you? Well, I have the truth from everybody else. You're lying. You're full of bullshit, man. Well, why would I be talking to you about this? You, right you have to tell. You have to show. Listen, if you got statements about other what other people said, let me see the papers. I can see those. In court, you get to see them. Yes. No, I get to see them here. No, that's not how it works, Kevin. Yeah, listen, I've been through this over and over. And I've been through this. They, over you got when you guys say someone said this, you would be like, here goes the statement right here. Mm-hmm. You ain't show me no paper. But some images of a guy with a mask on. Mm-hmm. Then you trying to say that <laughs> you were, that I was on surveillance on surveillance before it is with those same clothes on without a mask. Mm-hmm. Funny guy. There's cameras everywhere. Of course. Yeah. I'm on one now. Exactly. They record everything. Listen. So people, show, people back to what I was saying. Listen, a lot of music back to what I was saying. Show me. Show me the, uh, the people, so everybody pointed me out, saying it was me. That's going to change the difference as to whether you shot that guy intentionally or not? I don't know what you're talking about. You keep saying I shot a guy. I don't even know. What the fuck? Well, if I shot that, if I so-called shot this guy, where is that? You don't even have a, that's not enough evidence, man. You just, yeah, got, not you just got some shit put there. My DNA, my DNA not on none of that. We'll find that out, won't we? Yeah, we will. We will find that out. Yeah. You need my DNA to get it. Nope. Yeah, unless you got 
got Prince. You don't got those. We don't need Prince either. You need Prince. We got everything else. No, you don't. DNA and, and Prince are icing on the cake. That's where Hollywood comes in. That's where all that drama on the Hollywood TV that you see, they have all that stuff to make what it dramatic. What type of DNA? What do you mean, what type of DNA? What type of DNA you guys have? What need? I don't know. What do you mean, what you type of DNA? Everybody has unique, unique DNA. Okay. So, in order to know that's my DNA, you have to have something of my DNA. Yeah, we'll get it from you. Yeah, how, how, are you gonna, how are you gonna do that? Voluntary or a force? Oh, we got a search warrant. So that's not you're not understanding. Right. DNA. What type of DNA you guys need? Oh, a buccal swab. A buccal swab from my mouth. Yeah. And how are you gonna get that? Judge will order it with a with a search warrant. Yeah. Out my mouth. Yeah. A search warrant to get DNA out my mouth. How do that sound? What do you mean? How does it sound? We do it every day. Yeah, okay. Well, hey, listen, man, it was nice. It was a pleasure meeting you, man. You got your guys, but you're not, you don't get me. I'm not one of them. I'm most definitely not one of them. So, listen. The evidence shows differently, Kenneth. Okay, you know what? Yeah. The evidence shows differently? Yeah. Oh, so be it. That's all. If that's me, that's me. Listen, go ahead, throw the book at me, do what you got to do. It's not my decision to make. Oh, you part of it. I collect the information, right? That's my job. What right? was taken? You said to do my job, right? What was taken? Just robbery and murder and all this shit. What was taken? Money. So where's the money? Where's the money? Yeah. Uh, some of it bought some loud. Where's the rest? Where's the rest? Yeah. Divide it up. And who? So so you got money off of people? Mm-hmm. Oh, you did, man. The money collected at the search warrant. Where is that? On inventory in Milwaukee. You ain't got no fucking money, man. You ain't got no money. You ain't got no money, man. You ain't got enough evidence that leads you back to me, man. Like I said, my word against your word. I'm telling you, that's well, the but it's, That's the thing, Kevin. It's not my word. None of this is my word. And that's where people get confused about the police's role, okay? Our job is to collect information, all right? Remember before when I explained to you that we remain neutral, we stay in the middle, and we listen to everybody, what they have to say on all sides. I said that before I explained that to you, right? And when I listen to what people have to say, if things don't match up, I have to understand why they don't match up. If, well, things, if, saying, if things don't match up, it tells me that someone's not being truthful. So then I have to go by the evidence that's been found. And like the that. evidence leads us to the truth, okay? Oh, and when I show and when I show evidence, have evidence that shows something contrary to what you're saying, something different from what you're saying, that tells me that you're not being entirely truthful, okay? Mm -hmm. I can't change that. It is what it is. It's just a safety pin box. Okay. Might want to get that before you say I tried to break out. Okay. <laughs> Guys are so funny. So it comes down to this. Based on the evidence we have, you ain't charged with that. That's not mine. The charging will come from the DA's office. Hmm? The charging is coming from the DA's office based on the evidence they get. I'm the one that sends them the evidence. Yeah, you send them my statement too, right? Right. So why you haven't wrote down what I say? Because it's all being recorded. I don't have to write anything down. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So this should be on recorder. That's not me on them photos. Okay. Those evidence was planted in my house by the guys who did it. You got your guys. Okay. You want to be dead. Well, what about the other evidence that what shows you are dead? You want surveillance video. Okay, if you got that, why are you talking to me? Because I need to know whether you shot that man intentionally or whether it was an accident. I haven't shot anybody. Uh, actually, I shot Kenneth. Okay. Yeah, I I haven't shot anybody, man. You have a doctor's appointment? What does that have to do with anything? Huh? It don't have nothing to do with anything. Okay. Just remember that. Listen, that ain't me. None of that's me, man. I ain't did nothing. I'm innocent. I'm to prove you guilty. Okay, well, the evidence we have will prove you guilty. No, they're not my the, evidence. The, the, the difference is, are you going to be proven guilty of intentional homicide 
or just regular manslaughter? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't killed anyone. I haven't picked up a gun in my life. So... You never picked up a gun? In a day of my life. Never. Not even your mom was gonna? No, I just got her books. Yeah. And gave it to those guys who did the job. Uh, the ones you so have here. So they died. Saying, so so then what you're telling me is that you provided bullets to two guys who did a robbery, killed a man. Actually I didn't provide the bullets. They were like how how should I put this? I didn't need them. Why would I need? Why would I have bullets? You said you got them out of your mother's bag and gave it to him when he asked yeah, for them. I I know what happened was. See, I'm on medication, right? What medication are you on? Listen, I'm on Ritalin and, and all these other medications, right? So my my shit is all fucked up up here. Okay. So right now, guess what? What's that? I don't even know what's going on. You don't. You know what I mean? I think you. I think you're trying to get me to say stuff that I ain't do. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. I ain't did none of that. Well, what, you could get me on some bullets? Providing the ammunition that killed the man? Yeah, that's probably to the grandma homicide. No. Might as well have pulled the trigger. Oh, no, 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 Listen, what happened? That's also part of the crime of homicide. Listen, no one you can give me for it is lying. Those bullets, I don't know where they come from. Listen, 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 what a turnaround in Thomas's strategy. I was not expecting this twist. An hour ago, he said he knows exactly how it all works. I watch a lot of CSI and okay. 48 and all that good stuff. So I know. What do you like about those shows? I don't like the shows at all. Why are you watching them? To see how you guys work. Okay. But you know that's TV. Yeah. Like CSI? That's real. That, that is real, though. CSI, you know how fast they solve a crime in CSI? How fast? In 60 minutes, that's how long the show is. Yeah, that's real. Now he's acting like he's drugged up and being taken advantage of. Also, all that yawning really shows that the Ritalin he's on is working. The good stuff, as Thomas says. You've been around. You've been dealing with the cops a long time, right? Mm, not that long. Started to get in trouble about a year or two ago. But you know how it works. No, not really. Not really? Not really. Okay. I think you... I know how I think you pressuring me. How am I pressuring? You pressuring me to say I did something I didn't do. I already know you did it. I'm you just know, trying to understand you why you did it. You know, you're not going to know why I did it because I didn't do it. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. How did I get... If I did just... Mm-hmm. Where was my transportation? Where was your transportation? The driver? Yeah, the driver. Yeah, or he spoke to the driver too. Who was it? You know who the driver was. Who was it? I'm asking you. These aren't the... This, the I need to know the information. Mm-hmm. You'll get it in discovery in court. Yeah. Um, then we're talking for what now? I don't know. You're asking me questions. Stop pressing me to things. I You're asking me questions. You hear me? Stop pressing me to things. I how, do. how am I pressuring you? You are. You keep saying I did something I didn't do. You just found evidence in my house, and I'm telling you those guys put that there. Mm-hmm. How do you know they put it there? Because it wasn't there. Maybe one of your brothers put it there. Hey. Uh, mm-hmm. Would it say your warrior your brothers didn't do it? They did. Well, how do you know that? Because you said you got... How do I know one of my brothers? You said you got me on camera. So how could it be my brothers if you got me on camera? No, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand your, your theory. You're blaming two guys. 
Why would you blame those two guys? They don't like us. I mean, it's funny how you guys didn't get this. You told me, when we were bringing you back, you told me that some marshals showed up looking for your brother for some robberies? Yeah. You were explaining that? Yeah. And you were talking about stuff going on, wasn't it? For a robbery. For a robbery. Okay. Some guys had got robbed. Okay, so how do you know your brother didn't do the robbery? He didn't. My brother's not those type. They're not those type. Mm-hmm. I mean, not, none of my brothers. They're good boys. One's a father. Mm-hmm. The other one's a schoolboy. He music and shit. Mm-hmm. Very, he more into music than I am. Mm-hmm. That's how I know one of my brothers. Man, they not, they not like you say, kid us, put the gun to do it, and you want to know whether they accidentally or mm-hmm. like shit like that. They don't do, you know, they won't do nothing like that. Mm-hmm. I know how I did it because I ain't even. All I could remember was me smoking weed, and you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you stayed in the apartment all night. Yeah. Okay. That's all I remember. But why are you on surveillance camera leaving the apartment? Actually, those could have been any other guys leaving the, the, the department. It was you very clearly. No. That could have been the guys across. That could have been the guys that was across. Kenneth, yeah, yeah, you're a very distinctively looking young man. Mm, that's good. That wasn't, it is. that wasn't me on that camera. Well, I'm not talking the camera with the mask on. I'm talking about the surveillance camera of you. Going in and out the house, right? What yeah. You said. That's not me. Very clearly is you. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, you got my face. Yes. With everything gone still. That's what it shows. I can't take back what a video shows. All right. So if you got that, do what you have to do. This is done. Well, the most important part is still yet to come. Your right. explanation. You don't need an explanation. You, you say, I did it. Right. You were there. I wasn't there. All the evidence shows you were there. All the information shows that you were there. So I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to find out your How do you know the evidence is not, you know, not, not valid? It is valid. How do you know that? Because I've been doing this job 30 years. You must have been here. I don't need to be there to know what happened. Of course. You just, you just, you just told me. You told me everything how it happened. Right. I, I, so you, I, you know what happened. I told you that all along. You did. So you, so you know what happened. So why are we still here? Because I want to know why you did it. You ain't got the evidence, man. Come on. Just face it. You want me to, listen, listen, I watched this on, I watched this on uh, First 48. Okay. Listen, you keep, you're going to keep seeing that you got, you got, yeah, you're right. You do got evidence leading back to the robbery in my place. Right. I'm denying. Okay. Those were mine. Those were other guys, and I know they planned it to them. Because y'all ain't even got the money. Okay. So what about all the evidence from all the other robberies? Where did all that come from? I, I never sold me no pictures of those. You know? I don't have pictures of those because those happened in Brookfield, in Milwaukee, in West Dallas. You lied to me then. You told me you had pictures of everything. I have pictures. Milwaukee has pictures you said of you had, No, 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 no. You I, told me I you had a hundred pictures. Exactly. Of what Milwaukee took. No, you didn't say one more. Listen, you said, listen, come on, you do a trick, man. You was a tricky guy. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were on medication. You might can't remember stuff. Yeah, I remember certain stuff. Okay. Yeah, but I don't want to play games with you. I don't want to play games with okay. you. Okay? I want to get to the truth of the matter and understand things <clears throat> so it's dealt with properly. Would you appreciate that, things dealt with properly? I really don't care. You don't care if they're done? You're going to accept things as they come? Do you think? Sometimes in life, you just have to. Do you think that's right, though? It may not be right. It may not be, you know, wrong. Just is, is it fair? It's part of life. Probably not be fair. It's part of life. Okay. And when, and when things happen in life and you got to deal with things, would you like to deal with them in an easy manner or a harder manner? Like that business you wanted to start. Okay. You never get to start that. Would you like to start it in an easy way with some help or a difficult way of having to do it all on your own? Listen, I never get to that. That's a dream. Nothing wrong with dreaming. You got a dream, right? A, a dream that never comes true. Dream is still good, isn't it? Not 
if it can come true. What we need to figure out here, and it's important, it's important for you, okay? Because this is all about you. If the DA's office looks at this evidence and thinks that you went there to commit a robbery and intentionally shot a man, and he died as a result of that, he's going to think first degree. If there's a circumstance, if there's a reason to get him to think otherwise, that this wasn't intentional, damn, that's important to know. Because he's going to deal with it in a completely different way. He's going to handle what happens to you in a completely different way. You have the key to what happens to you. Listen, no, I, that's what I don't want to happen, Kenneth. Listen, my life is. Listen, listen, listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sure. Oh, listen. Yes. Whether I tell you or not, I'm done. You're not getting that right. No. Listen, you got evidence in my house. Right. You got the gun. Yes. I'm done. What is there you want to know? You want me to admit to it? So I'm not going to admit to it. Okay. Listen. This this is a situation. Understand this, okay? There's all kinds of different levels of what happens to a person. 20 years from now, man, it'll be different. Man. Obama will be out the office. She won't be the same no more. Things won't be the same next year. Things constantly change. You know that. All right. Okay. You're going to school to learn business, right? Well, not anymore. If you were continuing to go to school and learn business, things would be different one day. Shit is listen. If okay. the fifth was the fifth, we all be drunk, man. I, I, I see I, what that shit. Just get to the point, man. Just get to the, the point. The point is, is you got a chance here. I don't have a chance. Yes, you do. You you I got don't. you got a decision. You got a decision as to whether or not you're going to face life. Or you're going to face a maximum of 20 years. A maximum of 20 years. Right. That means it could be less. Life is life. You can't undo that. Man, when I get out, man, listen, when I get out, my granny will be dead. My uncle will probably be dead, my other uncle. No telling what's going to happen to my mom. She's already sick. Okay. But how would they react to you having to spend the rest of your life? Do you not give me in the next 20 years? That will be the rest of my life. I'll be fucking 40 when I get out. Don't you think they want you at 40 to still have a life? I won't have a life. Why Why do you say that? Why don't you think you won't have a life? I won't be. You and we both know that. Just so know what fucking type of life, what job can I get? In 20 years, things may completely change. Jerrica is the third suspect of the crime, having been the driver of the getaway car. Jerrica has already been interrogated and admitted to driving both Thomas and Darren to rob the gas station. The girl that drove you guys? The girl you guys walked out of the apartment with? The girl that came back with you guys from back to the apartment? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Kenneth, we want to give you an opportunity here. I know, fuck. Come on, let's stop. Do you just make your things worse, man? I'm trying to help you understand. It's a big difference with this, whether this was intentionally or an accident. That's a big you know difference. the best thing in life to have? What's that? Or to happen? Death. Let me tell you why death is the best thing. Because there's no more suffering. Because of how long this interrogation is, I'm breaking it into parts. If you don't know, by the way, this is part two. So check out part one if you haven't already. We have lots of more comedy gold from Thomas here. Stay tuned. 
I'll see you in the next video.